Hi, my dear students. We are going to the chapter-wise concept. The chapter is trigonometry. Now the topic is compound angles. Now the concept there it is in triangle ABC. Prove that tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C. That is the first one. And second one, cot A cot B plus cot B cot C plus cot C cot A is equal to one. Now we have to prove. Proof of this. Now, take the condition. So, what is the given condition? There it is. In triangle ABC, means what? Sum of the angles 180 degrees. In triangle ABC means A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. That's why, from the given condition, A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. Now, from this. A plus B is equal to 180 minus C. For first one, prove for first one. That is in terms of tan. That is in terms of tan. That's why we have to take tan on both sides. Now, tan A plus B is equal to tan of 180 minus C. That's why the formula for this one. Tan A plus tan B by 1 minus tan A into tan B is equal to tan 180 minus C that is minus tan C that's the now from this apply cross multiplication so tan A plus tan B is equal to minus tan C into 1 minus tan A into that's uh, now from this one tan A plus tan B is equal to minus tan C minus minus plus tan A into tan B into tan C that's uh, take minus tan C to this side then tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C. That's true. Hence true. First one is true. Now observe this sum sum of these consecutive three terms represents sigma radius sigma tan A is equal to product of these three terms represents pi so pi into tan A. This is pi tan A. Sigma tan A means tan A plus tan B plus tan C. Pi tan A means tan A into tan B into tan C. That's why it represents sigma tan A or sigma tan B or sigma tan C. No problem. One of them, one of the three terms we have to represent sigma. So here also one of the three terms represents sigma the pi so sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a when it is possible if a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees now first one is true first one proof is over now we are going to second one same here also we have to take cot on both sides apply cot on both sides now cot a plus b is equal to cot 180 minus c cot a plus b is equal to cot 180 minus c now formula for cot A plus B that is cot A cot B minus 1 by cot B plus cot A. It is minus cot C. Since cot 180 minus C is nothing but minus cot C. You can apply cross multiplication. Then it is cot A cot B minus 1 is equal to minus cot C cot A plus cot B. That's all. Now, simplify this. Cot A cot A cot B minus 1 is equal to minus cot C cot A minus 2 plus minus cot B cot C. That's all. So, the new two terms turn this side. Then, 
कार्ड ए कार्ड बी प्लस कार्ड बी कार्ड सी प्लस कार्ड सी कार्ड ए इज इक्वल टू वन दैट्स ऑल सो दिस सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस थ्री टर्म्स रिप्रेजेंट्स सिग्मा दिस दैट्स व्हाई सिग्मा कार्ड ए कार्ड बी इज इक्वल टू वन दैट्स व्हाई If a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees, or a b c are the angles in triangle, then tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a into tan b into tan c. Or cot a cot b plus or cot b cot c plus cot c cot a is equal to one. That's all. Okay. So in sigma relation, sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a, and sigma cot a cot b is equal to one. When it is possible, sum of the angles 180 degrees. right we are going to next concept now we are going to one one more concept that is uh, if a plus b plus c is equal to 90 or pi by 2 radians then uh, prove that the first one sigma tan a tan b is equal to 1 and uh, second one sigma cot a is equal to pi cot a that means sigma tan a tan b is equal to 1 means what tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a is equal to 1 and uh, sigma cot a equal to pi cot a means what cot a plus cot b plus cot c is equal to cot a into cot b into cot c so this is the reverse for the first one for first uh, result for first result there it is if a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees then sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a Sigma cot a cot b is equal to one, but if a plus b plus c is equal to 90 degrees, then sigma tan a tan b is one. Sigma cot a is equal to pi cot a. Now we have to prove this. Prove for this one. Now we have to say a plus b plus c is equal to pi by two. So that is the given condition. That's why from this a plus b is equal to 90 minus c, since pi by 2 is 90. Now apply tan on both sides. Tan a plus b is equal to tan 90 minus c. Now tan a plus b is equal tan 90 minus c is cot c now tan a plus b expands tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a into tan b is equal cot c that is 1 by tan c now apply cross multiplication then tan a plus tan b into tan c is equal to 1 minus tan a into tan b now from this multiply with this tan c tan a plus tan b tan c is equal to 1 minus tan a into tan b. Now this term shift to this side. Then here it is. Tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a is equal to 1. That's why this LHS represents. Sigma tan a into tan b. So that is one. Now we have to find in terms of cot. So take cot on both sides. Now cot of a plus b is equal to cot ninety minus c. Cot ninety minus c. Now this is cot of a plus b is equal to this is tan c. 
cot 90 minus c is a tan c now from this cot of a plus cot of a plus b formula cot a cot b minus one by cot b plus cot a cot b plus cot a is equal to one by cot c so tan c is nothing but one by cot c now apply cross multiplication then this cot a cot b minus one into cot c is equal to cot b plus cot a that's all now multiply with this so cot a cot b cot c minus cot c is equal to cot a plus cot b now minus cot c is equal to that side then it is cot a cot b cot c is equal to cot a plus cot b plus cot c that's why cot a plus cot b plus cot c is called sigma cot a so that is sigma cot a is equal to product of this represents product of this represents pi cot a that's all sigma cot a is equal to pi cot a now we are going to the node points and some objective questions depends upon this concept okay my dear students observe here so we are going to the node points that means general node points so we know that a plus b plus c is equal to 180 then uh, sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a and uh, sigma cot a cot b is equal to 1 That means a plus b plus c is 180 or 0, 360, 540 like that. Multiples of pi, integral multiples of pi. If a plus b plus c is equal to integral multiples of pi, where n belongs to z integer, then sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a. Sigma cot a cot b is equal to 1. When it is possible, sum of the angles integral multiples of pi. If sum of the angles is integral multiples of pi, then sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a. Sigma cot a cot b is equal to one. Now a plus b plus c is equal to pi by two, three pi by two, five pi by two, seven pi by two like that. That means odd multiples of pi by two, odd integral multiples of pi by two. That means if a plus b plus c is equal to two n plus one pi by two, where n belongs to z. Then sigma tan a tan b is one, sigma cot a is pi cot a. That means the sum of the angles 90 or 270 like that. Add multiples of pi by 2, 90. Uh, that means uh, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 like that. So examples observe here. Tan 56 degrees plus tan 58 degrees plus tan 66 degrees is equal to tan 56 into tan 58 into tan 66. Why? Since 56 plus 58 plus 66 is 180, sum of all these angles is 180. That's why sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a. Next year, 54 plus 62 plus 64, 64, 54, 62. Sum of them 180. That's why cot a cot b plus cot b cot c plus cot c cot c. Cot C cot A one. Again, that means these two examples related to the first concept. Sum of the angles, multiples of one eighty. Now these two examples related to this concept. Sum of the angles, odd multiples of pi by two, maybe ninety or two hundred and ninety. That's why twenty three, thirty three, and thirty four. Twenty three, twenty twenty three, thirty three. So 23, 33, 34. Sum of the angles 90. That's why tan A tan B plus tan B tan C plus tan C tan A is one. So here also 22, 32, 36. Sum of the angles 90. That's why sigma cot A is equal to pi cot A. 
these are the examples. That means without doing the questions, without uh, doing the solutions, we have to write a direct answer. So now the question. If A is equal to 35 degrees, B is equal to 50 degrees, C is equal to 45 degrees, then tan A tan B plus tan B tan C plus tan C tan A is equal to. First we have to add the, the angles, sum of the angles, sum of the angles. A plus B plus C is equal to 35 plus 15. That is uh, 50. 50 plus 40, 90. So, a plus B plus C is 90. Are you clear? Since here 35 plus 15 plus 40 is equal to 90 degrees. That's why right. if A plus B plus C is 90, then we know that. Observe. Sigma tan A tan B is equal to 1. That's why right. the second option is final. Since first option 0, second option 1, third option 2, fourth option 3. So second option is right answer. Since we know that a plus b plus c is 90, then sigma tan a tan b is equal to 1. That's all. Now, another question. Another question. If tan x plus tan 2x plus tan 3x is equal to tan x into tan 2x into tan 3x, then um, mod sin 3x plus the cos 3x value, first option 0, second option 1, third option minus 1, and fourth option 2. Now observe. So, when it is possible, sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a, where it is sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a is possible when sum of the angles is 180 degrees. Sum of the angles is 180 degrees. That means x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 180. So, we have to take solution for this. x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 180 degrees. That's why 6x is equal to 180 degrees. 6x is equal to 180 degrees. That's why 6 is So x is equal to 30 degrees. x is equal to 30 degrees. Substitute in this one. Now sin 3 into 30. Sin 90. 3 into 30. Sin 90. Cos 3 into 30. Cos 90. That's all. Now, sin 90 is 1, cos 90 is 0. That's why mod 1 plus 0. Answer is 1. That's why that is also the second answer. That's it. So, these are the questions related to this one, these concepts. These concepts are very, very important in IP board exam. And the question depends upon this concept. It is important for 4 marks and more number of questions from object to like this. So, like this. Okay, so you can concentrate, concentrate and you can write uh, all the concepts. Okay, right. Now we are going to another. Okay, my dear students, we are going to the one more question depends upon this concept. If A plus B plus C is equal to 90 degrees, then to that uh, sigma cos B plus C by cos B cos C is 2. Sigma cos B minus C by cos B cos C is 4, where A, B, C are positive. And sigma sin b minus c is equal to sin b sin c is 0 if none of uh, uh, the sin a sin b sin c is 0. Now observe here sigma the first we have to take first we have to prove first one LHS for first one sigma cos b plus c by cos b cos c. So expansion of cos b plus c is cos b cos c minus the sin b sin c. So after splitting here this one by this one this one by this one. This cancel 1 minus sin b by cos b tan b tan c. That's all. So sigma 1 minus sigma tan b tan c. Sigma 1 is nothing but a sum of consecutive 1 plus 1 plus 1. That's so, 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus sigma tan b tan c. Tan b tan c means tan b tan c plus tan c tan a plus tan a tan b. That's all. Now this is 3. Now this is if a plus b plus c 90. Then sigma tan a tan b, sigma tan a tan b is 1. That's why it is 3 minus 1, 2. So that is RHS. So, so for second, similarly for second, for second one we have to just in place of uh, uh, second, second one LHS. Take second one LHS, here it is minus. Then this is plus, plus. No, it is plus, it is plus. 
it is plus, it is plus. That's why it is over. So, second one proof is over. Now we are going to prove the third one. Okay? Second one proof sigma cos b plus uh, sigma cos b minus c. Sigma cos b minus c is equal to sigma cos b minus c is equal to here this is mm, sigma cos b minus c is b minus c it is 4 that's all b plus c it is 2 are you clear that's all now we are going to prove for for third one that's all this is second one now proof for third one take LHS sigma sin b minus c by sin b sin c this is the expansion of uh, sin b minus c sin b cos minus cos b sin c that's why we have to split it sin b cos by sin b cos sin c that's why here uh, sin b sin b gets cancelled here it is uh, sin c sin c gets cancelled now cos c by sin c since sin b sin b gets cancelled here sin c sin c gets cancelled cos c by sin c is cos c and here it is uh, cot b cos b by sin b is cot b expand the sigma it is cot c cot b minus cot a cot b cot a minus cot c like it all gets cancelled we get uh, 0 so this is the RHS for the like this that's why these are all depends upon the concept of sum of the angles is the odd multiples of pi by 2 some results are there sum of the angles are integral multiples of pi some results are there ok that's why this concept is very very important right Okay, my dear students, so we are going to the practice section. In practice session, so I am giving questions, practice questions. First question, second question, there are nearly six questions. These are related to the compound angles concept. That's why for each question, there is just answer. So I am giving answer also here. Here they answer, answer for this one, answer for this one. For all the six questions, answers are there. You can solve the questions and verify the answers. If we have any doubts, so you can message me or you can call me no problem. You can call me. So I will give the clarification. Of course, according to those concepts, we have to do these questions, no problem. According to the given concept, you can do the questions very easy. Directly substitute the concepts. That's why you can approach the concept if it is easy. If you have any difficulty, if you feel any difficulty, you will call me, so I can explain to you, okay? That's why you can prepare well and practice all the questions and write the exam well, okay? Right. Bye-bye.